Hey guys, let's start the 82nd episode of Daily Football News and know what has happened in the past 24 hours. What Laporta told of Messi again? Laporta on the Neymar saga, will Pogba stay at Man United? Another blow to the European Super League, PSG's Messi Cristiano Dream, Mbappé, Kane and Holland saga? Let's quickly find out all of these in this video. Before starting this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. So at first, without delay, let's get to know some main news of the day. Joan Laporta, speaking for the first time since Messi's move to PSG, Laporta tried to focus on the future and emphasize the need to turn the page. I think it has been a successful relationship that has lasted many years and in the end, it has deteriorated, Laporta admitted. Like all Barcelona fans, I would have preferred to see him at Barcelona. We presented La Liga with losses of 89 million euros that allowed us to do our best. When we see that La Liga gave us expectations we were optimistic, but what we see in return is that we realize that it can't be done. Despite the fact that we had shaken hands with Messi, when we saw the magnitude of the financial disaster we saw that it could not be done. One of the most beautiful stories in football, which normally do not last so long, has ended. I prefer to remember the good moments and not the bad ones. We are excited about the team and Leo looks happy in Paris. Barcelona president Joan Laporta has slammed his predecessor Joseph Maria Bartomeu. Laporta has issued a response to a letter sent by Bartomeu last week accusing him of failing to act quickly enough to address the club's sliding accounts at a crucial point during the coronavirus pandemic. The previous board had received an advance of 79 million euros relating to 50% of La Liga's television rights, and the banks charged it at 9% interest. The reduction of wages by the previous board was not real. Bartomeu's letter is full of lies. We have a salary bill that represents 103% of the club's total income. It represents 20-25% more than our competitors. The economic situation is worrying and the financial situation is dramatic. Barcelona has a net worth of minus 451 million euros and a debt of 1.35 million euros. Bartomeu also claimed that Laporta paid former Barca superstar Neymar money that he wasn't actually owed earlier this summer after a four-year legal dispute over a signing bonus following his world record move to Paris Saint-Germain. Laporta insists that the blame lies firmly at Bartomeu's door. However, with the club's current struggles to reduce their wage bill deemed to have started when the 222 million euros deal was struck with PSG. He talks about Neymar, he added. He says that we have foregone 16.7 million euros. Another lie, it is not true. And you could remind Bartomeu of the damage that the Neymar case did to the image of Barca. Because it was an infinity of lies. When he sold Neymar for 222 million euros, they had already spent disproportionately. This triggered wages and amortization. City are reluctant to carry their pursuit of Harry Kane into next summer. As revealed by Sportsmail last week, Kane has made himself available for selection after returning to full training following a five-day quarantine due to his contentious extended holiday. The break caused him to miss the beginning of his pre-season schedule though the forward insists he has not refused to train. Kane's availability to face Pacos de Ferreira indicates that Nuno is now ready to include the England captain, although his fitness will still be monitored. Sunday's squad announcement also covers next week's second leg in London so his place on the plane to Portugal on Wednesday is not certain. Under UEFI rules, Kane would still be eligible to play for City in the Champions League if he features against Pacos de Ferreira. The idea comes even as the Catalan club has acknowledged the full reality of their financial woes Barcelona are intrigued by the prospect of a swap deal that would bring Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang to Camp Nou and send Philippe Coutinho to Arsenal, according to Sky Sports. While the Balgrana has 1.35 billion euros in debt, the departure of Coutinho's wages could offset some of the prices of adding Aubameyang. Aubameyang's current contract runs until 2024 but his status with the Gunners is up in the air after a frustrating 2020-2021 campaign and an absence to illness to start the season. The Alliance Arena chief has insisted that the club won't be held to ransom in contract negotiations with two key players. Bayern Munich president Herbert Hainer has admitted that the club cannot keep Joshua Kimmich and Leon Goretzka at any cost. Kimmich has just entered the final two years of his current contract at Alliance Arena, while Goretzka only has 11 months left to run on his agreement, and has been strongly linked with Manchester United. Bayern are reportedly working to tie both players down to new long-term deals. They will certainly not be kept at any cost, the Alliance Arena chief told Kicker. The players know what they have at Bayern. They are paid very well here too. Everyone gets their salary. And they can win titles with us now, and also in the future. If the Red Devils can drag consistency out of Pogba, then he could have a big part to play in the club's quest to land major silverware this season. Questions are, however, being asked of how long he will be sticking around at Old Trafford. Pogba has entered the final 12 months of his current contract, with no extension agreed as yet with the 89 million euros asset. Old Gunnar Solskjaer hopes the return of fans to previously empty stadiums will help to convince the enigmatic performer to stay put. 
with the United boss saying, The last 18 months have been strange. The only interaction have been through media. You have watched the games on telly so to be reunited with the fans like Paul and Bruno is important. This is the real Man United. This is how I sold Man United to Edinson Cavani. You can't leave after one season with no fans. A pivotal week in the Kylie and Mbappé transfer saga is underway. With tensions around the French star's future higher than ever, Mbappé has already made it clear to Paris Saint-Germain that he does not intend to renew his contract, and his club knows that keeping him this season will see him leave on a free transfer next summer. In the latest development, El Kairin Guido has revealed that the 22-year-old has called a meeting this week with PSG president Nasser al Khalifi to ask him to negotiate his transfer to Real Madrid. Real Madrid are willing to pay a considerable amount for Mbappé, thought to be around 150 million euros, and as for PSG, Mbappé's future in Paris has looked increasingly less likely in recent days. The Super League is becoming a lonelier prospect for Real Madrid, Barcelona, and Juventus by the day, as the nine clubs that joined the project have a committee to return to the European Club Association. The nine clubs, Manchester City, Manchester United, Chelsea, Liverpool, Tottenham Hotspur, Arsenal, Inter, AC Milan, and Atletico Madrid have signed a binding contract to be readmitted to the ECI. In its decision, and after an exhaustive process of re-engagement by the clubs and reassessment by ECI over recent months, the ECI executive board took into consideration the club's acknowledgement that the so-called European Super League project was not in the interests of the wider football community and their publicly communicated decisions to abandon said ESL project completely. E the ECI statement. Paris Saint-Germain are dreaming of pairing new signing Lionel Messi with Juventus forward Cristiano Ronaldo. With Sky Sports claiming that PSG are hoping to bring in Cristiano Ronaldo and Paul Pogba when their contracts expire next summer at Juventus and Manchester United respectively. However, on Sunday it was reported that Pogba would still favor a move to Real Madrid. Now we move on to some interesting news of the day. Denis Sura seemed to have settled in well at Celta Vigo last season, but problems with his agent could see him forced out of the Galician club. Villarreal, one of his former clubs, could be a landing spot. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang has no plans to leave Arsenal, despite the Gunners not playing European football this season. I have spoken to a contact who says Aubameyang is fully committed to Arsenal. He does still have two years on that big contract, and he wants to return to the pitch as soon as possible, said Sky Sports' Darmish chef. Tottenham Hotspur are determined to land Fiorentina striker Dusan Vlahovic and has offered him a five-year contract worth 5 million euros per season, according to Nicolo Skira. Spurs are preparing a 60 million euro offer, but Leviola does not want to sell and has offered Vlahovic a new contract. With Ben Chilwell and Marcos Alonso ahead of him in the pecking order at Chelsea, Emerson Pomeroy's dates at Stamford Bridge seem to be numbered. As Nicolo Skira reports, Napoli are interested in signing Emerson on loan with an option to buy. Bayer Leverkusen are in advanced talks to sell fullback Wendell to Porto, reports Kicker. The Brazilian has seen his playing time in the Bundesliga decline in recent seasons, with 2020-2021 marking the first time he failed to log 20 starts. Leeds forward Patrick Bamford is set to snub Tottenham interest and sign a new long-term contract with his current club. Writes the Mirror, he enjoyed perhaps the best season of his career last year, scoring 17 Premier League goals and supplying 7 assists to help his newly promoted side finish in the top half. Speaking to Sky Sports News, former Arsenal striker Kevin Campbell said, Something is awry. Something isn't right. Right up until the Brentford game they all be and lack is that we're going to be in the starting lineup and then all of a sudden they are out. If they are ill let us know what the illness is. I just feel like there is some infighting going on at some stage. Arsenal doesn't need this because there is some serious work to be done in on-field performances. Thibaut Courtois has signed a new five-year contract at Real Madrid until the summer of 2026. Courtois joined Madrid from Chelsea in summer 2018 for 35 million euros, having previously spent three years on loan with their city rivals Atletico. He helped them to win the Liga title in the 2019-2020 campaign, so far his only major trophy at Santiago Bernabeu. Paul Pogba registered four assists for Manchester United in their 5-1 mauling of Leeds, but Bruno Fernandes claims the World Cup winner is capable of contributing five or six in one game. Fernandes told MuTV of an eye-catching display from Pogba on the opening weekend. Amazing. He's doing really well and he's such a big player. Everybody knows that and I hope he can keep getting better and better because I think he can still do so much more. I'm pretty sure Paul could do five or six assists in one game. Juventus will meet with Sichuolo in the coming hours to discuss the signing of Manuel Locatelli, Nicolo Schira reports. The Bianconi are expected to pay around 35 million euros for the Italian midfielder. Manchester United, Manchester City, and Chelsea are all eyeing Mets teenager Pape Sar, according to Football Insider.
the three Premier League clubs could engage in a bidding war for the 18-year-old, who is currently valued at around £28 million. Granite x Haka has, according to Football London, signed a new contract at Arsenal. The Swiss midfielder's new deal will tie him to the Gunners until 2025, with an extended stay, agreed after coming close to linking up with Roma this summer. So, this was the end of our 82nd episode. We will be back with more interesting news and transfer rumors tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon.